Well, hello out there to the fans of History Hyenas. Guess what? I'm Giannis Pappas. That's Chris Stefano. That's Rafael DeLuca. He's here. That must mean something. It's the 100th episode. Can you believe it? We've made 100 episodes. Zach is still 24. It's what it is. He's only 24 years old, cuz. He lied to us to get a job. He started when he was 15. He started when he was 15, and we've added all kinds of fun people since episode one. It used to be... Just me, Giannis, Jim the Jew, and Bardo Church. Yeah. And then we added... That was before we started making money. We started making money. Now we have... Um, uh, we do. We did. We lost a Jew, and now we gained a Jew back. Yeah. We have the Jewish kid in the corner. Yeah. Who looks like he's from the mountains of Turkestan. Yeah. He's here. We got Zach. We got Mikey. We got the great Venetia. And now we have an actual squad. And without them, we would have not have been able to make it to a hundo. So I just want to say, first and foremost, thank you to you people. Yeah, and that's just a, that's just a character piece. Uh, you guys do help us, but don't get too big heads. We can do this without you. Yeah. <laughs> Giannis was talking about some major shifts. No, no, no we're I'm kidding. We're joking. We're joking. Yeah. It's a character piece. Yeah. We love yeah. everybody. We love our team. We've built a great team here. We have. It's Christmas, my favorite time of year. I wish that Christmas lasted all through January. Yeah, I don't. Too. I don't like the fact that Christmas fucking starts after uh, Thanksgiving and only lasts a couple weeks, and then it's just done, and January's just bleak and dreary. I'm moving to I'm moving to Miami for the fucking hey, winter. If you want it to be Christmas all year. The around, Jews get it. You have to move to <laughs> Deutschland. It's yeah, always Christmas in Deutschland. It is always. That's what we invented Christmas. Yeah, we, we we should have taken the baby to the Christmas gardens. I should have taken the Christmas gardens, but my mom wanted to have a brew in Disneyland. Yeah, you know, well, it's a real fancy move to come yeah. to Ridgewood to it's Florida. What it is? I was like, Mom, I want to immerse my daughter in the culture of in Bavarian culture, take her to German Christmas markets, and she said, "How about Goofy?" Yeah. Because my mom is just from a blue-collar neighborhood where if yeah. you make it to Disney, you're doing all right. You're doing okay if you make it all the way down to Florida, especially on JetBlue, where all the seats are the same size. All the seats have televisions, Christopher. But did your mom not like JetBlue because all the seats are the same size? And that's a little too socialist for her. A little socialist. Yeah, well, my mom doesn't know what socialism is. Let's be honest. No, she just goes to the right. I make jokes on stage and say she went to an Ivy League school. She went to LaGuardia Community College. It's what it is. Let's be CC. And then you lied to me and said she got into Columbia, but that's not true either. It's just what it is. Yeah. When it comes to you, it's a spin the wheel of truth. It's a spin the Your wheel. Your mind goes, I'm truth or lie. I'm feeling great right now yeah. because make no mistake, for the first time in weeks, my prostate is a normal size. Yeah. I'm just back, baby. You're back, baby. You're back in a big way. I and feel good, and I'm listening to Eckhart Tolle, and I'm getting screwed in. <laughs> You're getting screwed? And you said that the other person listening to Eckhart Tolle is your friend who sleeps on a bench now. That's <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I was excited to tell you, and then you said, uh-oh. Yeah. I said, uh-oh, I hope I'm not headed for another major crash. Yeah, because Eckhart Tolle has been talking to me about being friendly with the present, and I'm feeling friendly with the present. Cuz, you're JFK Jr.'s plane. It, Your life is JFK Jr.'s plane. It's a nice plane. It's an expensive plane. It's made a lot of successful trips to Nantucket. Yeah. It's got a hot wife on it. Yeah. You got your own magazine, and you got a great body. And your dad was a president who got his head blown off. Yeah. But that plane is destined to get lost into the fog. It's what it is. And it's destined to run into a mountain in New England or wherever the fuck he died. No. And I just don't want you to take off. I want you to stay in New York. Yeah, you want me to stay in New York. That's what I want, cuz. Yeah. That's what I waited to the 100th episode to tell you. Is that I'm JFK's Don't plane. go to Nantucket with the truffle pick. Yeah, no, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. Because we have way too much of a good time We have here. way too much fun because we, we're fucking untouchable. We're untouchable. Because, of the, we've only, because Andrew Schultz told us we are. Yeah, the only reason why we even made 100 episodes is because of the fans who went to patreon.com slash Boys and support us. Now we just have the freedom to say whatever we want. Yeah. And you got to understand that you guys uh, supporting us helps us support our freedom of speech, and it, it's why you guys laugh. And what I mean, we get messages every day that people are almost going to cr are crashing their cars listening because they're laughing so much, and that's yes. only possible because you've given us a security blanket. All yes. right. I mean, if you want to fucking, if you want us to be fucking cuck city, then you know. Go listen to my other podcast, Stand Up with Chris and Stefano, which is now just run by a lesbian. <laughs> yeah. But they kept the name, but you, I'm not on it anymore. You guys are basically our Trump's wall. You keep us protected from illegal immigrants. Yeah, we appreciate it, even though we're surrounded by them right now. And it's, I'm starting, Whenever Zach wants to join the podcast, he can. Yeah, because you got to just... It's, you, know, you know what I love? In the 100th episode, I'll just say, Zach is only prepared when you open your mouth. 
Yeah. When I say, I could say something wild. It's Zach's on vacation when I'm talking because he's just used to watching you. Yeah, I'm you on said work, on the Chad. last podcast that you, you're, oh, no, that wasn't you. Jeff said that beating beating their wife, something about wife beating. Yeah. And there wasn't even a button that was no, pushed. No, Zach, there wasn't even a button. No, no. He's not He's not prepared when I'm going because he's so used to you. And we, we've we evolved so naturally over 100 episodes. The way Zhang Jean button. You, go, you know who's been with us from the beginning? Who's oh. never dipped off? Jesus. Chris, the teacher, went away. He dealt with whatever family situation he, well, he's doing. He, de- he dealt with his legal things while he couldn't go on it. But then yeah. he made an announcement that he's back. He made an announcement he's back. Yeah. yeah. Thalia Volkanos ha- has has disappeared. She's gone. She, she wanted you to crack her open, and then I think her her Greek father just found what she was doing. Yeah. And now the girl's just locked in an attic, and she's studying yeah. engineering. Jen Bagakis went on one day with Rafael Deluca and hasn't been seen since. She hasn't been seen since, and that's and not. So okay. I think her head's just part of his DJ equipment. It now. could be. That's the truth. Yeah. That's why he's here. I mean, when he's in person, he looks a little Frank's beat. <laughs> And he's got a Franks and Beats laugh. It's what it is. He's a Franks and Beats kid. Who's a what? <laughs> it's what it is. What, what language is that? That is Sinhala. Oh, wow. I don't even, I know, don't that, even know what that is. Like but a, it sounds like a good place that I support and whatever I'm supposed to say. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, yeah, Fuck yeah, you. Get out of my country. Please, sorry, whatever we did over there. I'm just kidding. Yeah, sorry for the bombs. Yeah, whatever that is. But, yeah, I was going <laughs> to say. Jen Bagakis, I think she still listens, listens, but who knows? Who knows? Let's just be honest. She's a shady one. Let's be honest. When the podcast started, she was 28, and now it's 100 episodes in, and she's 23. <laughs> <laughs> no, we love Jen Bagakis. We love Jen Bagakis. But Rafael listening. DeLuca has been here since day, day one. one. Making songs that get six to ten views. <laughs> and he still pumps them out regardless. <laughs> He comes with the same enthusiasm, not hit, not hit after not hit. It's but, just what it is. Yeah, Word. but I fucking love every one of those. They're all good. I don't know why the fans aren't loving it's them. It's the fans like Rafael DeLuca that I mean that that keeps yeah. us going because Absolutely. I mean there's so many podcasts that stop. You don't understand how many of our peers have podcasts that don't even get even close to 100 episodes. Right. They, you had seven of them. Yeah, they, I got none a of lot them of failures. 20. No, I got know? a lot of failures. Uh, shout out to you, Nate Bargatze. It didn't work. It, it was didn't never going to work. We're going to call you. And then some Some of our fans, some of our peers just do podcasts shit. and they're 300 episodes in and nobody cares about the Paul Verzi. As <laughs> loca as. Plain and simp. I uh, hope I'm coming to your Christmas party. Yeah. Venetia, do you want to be my date? <laughs> Chris, no. 420, 420 turned into 0.00. Well, it's what it is because here's the thing I had to make. The- if you if you take 420 and you subtract 420, what do you got for Christmas? If you take if you have 420, here's a clean here's for the clean <laughs> clip. Let me get it clean for the clip. Yeah. If you have 420 and you subtract 420, what do you have? Zero at Paul Verzi's Christmas party. It's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going solo. She said bye, bye, bye. She's a good girl for it. She said bye, bye, bye. Like, here's what I've noticed about myself and about me. Number one, I've been celibate for uh, close couple, to a month now. Couple, close to a month. Uh, three weeks. Yeah. Right? I mean, I don't know. You're a liar. <laughs> Let me think about it. When did I go to Disney? I don't know, but you're in rare form this episode. I'm already tearing up. I'm excited. It's the 100th episode. Mike is still Mexican. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No matter what. He's yeah, there's no... You can take as many poly gas or oregano pills as you want. You you're can't still do that. Mexican. You're still Mexican. Yeah, you still shit sombreros. Because <laughs> <laughs> Mike is 100% stone cold. Yeah. Texas born Mexican, Mexican kid. And you guys just keep transferring your gray beer hats to each other. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm going down. I need yeah, to he's going to collapse again. Here's what I've learned. Here's what I've done. I've, I've taken a vow of celibacy. Yeah. Um, like a priest, because I said, you know what, Father Bill, when he got me, my, the truth is probably when I got, when he screwed me in, it just, it harmed my sexual development. And I just became an addict. Yeah. So here's what I, here's what I've learned about myself now. I've learned that the present is all that matters, is the now is all that matters. You have to learn to become friendly with whatever your present situation is. And I thought about my present situation and I said, I have a daughter who I love. Yeah. I have a career that I love. I have a life that I love. I don't need to be adding women in onto this plate right now because my uh, present right now is friendly and healthy. Wow. So I don't need to get anybody else in to mess that up because I was thinking there was some missing link to something was going to make me happy. But it's like, no, no, the happiness is now you're in it. Right. So don't forget about the women. They're right. not, it's not necessary. And I've gotten to that by being celibate. 
Now, as far as masturbating, it's been a lot. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So that, that I think that's how I, I think I gave myself prostatitis because my prostate was like I got the more glue left guy, <laughs> so I'm just gonna inflame and then I don't know. So because, ba- yeah, make no mistake, guy. I've been lighting my belly button up with spermola. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, oh, I'm here for it. It's yeah. slip and slide on my chest. Yeah, cause yeah, I, that faucet just is it's it, it's broken. Yeah, you, there's no plumber that can shut that off. Yeah, I'm jerking off a lot. Yeah, I'm, putting like I'm putting on true the movie. I'm putting on true lies, and I'm rewinding the scene where Jamie Lee Curtis dances for Andrew uh, dances for Arnold Schwarzenegger, <laughs> and there's a little bit of a nip slip uh, about 30 seconds into the scene. I just been cranking my monkey to that. Yeah, you you uh, <laughs> yeah you squeeze your pine cone a lot. I squeeze my pine cone a lot. My parents, uh, my the, the Rubbles, Barney Rubble and Betty Rubble, my my uh, dad and stepmom slept over. Uh, this past weekend, and we're watching Delilah, and I went, I kept going into the bathroom to take showers, but I was really cranking it. Yeah. Because I needed to get cranked out. Yeah. Because I'm celibate, and the glue's got to go somewhere, but I will tell you, it feels very good and very powerful to just not be around, uh, not falling into, um, not traps of women, I probably set my own traps too, but yeah. just to be the power of no, because I'm very friendly with my present right now. Yeah, you're in the moment, and there's one Chrissy we're trying to kill. We, don't, we want to get rid of Chrissy Chlamydia. Chrissy the Nazi? We want to kill that you one. You can't kill him. Very strong, yeah. <laughs> Chrissy, uh, Chrissy Chlamydia has been killed. Shout out, Dr. Sillen. <laughs> <laughs> we want to get rid of Chrissy uh, Chlamydia, and we want to get rid of... Uh, remember this one? Oh, talk about 100 episodes. Here's one lost in the middle. There's been so many, it's hard for us to keep up. Yeah. The amount of Chrissy's there's been. So cr- it, it, we love crystal clear Chrissy. Crystal clear. We Chrissy love Chrissy. steel pipe Chrissy. We're here. We don't like can collector Chrissy. What? You're a can collector. What you want is can. You're collector an old Chrissy. Chinese man oh, yeah. in the back of a shop, right? Shoving fucking cans into a machine. Yeah. I'm saying a lot of the fucking things you bang are trash. Oh yeah, tra- oh yeah, collecting cans. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. So yeah. what? Get- I'm not looking for any of my new wives at Banco Popular anymore. It's- <laughs> Way song she ain't. Yeah, I I'm kidding. Yeah, I wasn't going more of the. Yeah, no, the, I'm not gonna. No, yeah. I, I used to fucking. I used to go to sea towns and hunt for the cashier there. <laughs> so I'm not no gonna cash. do that anymore. That's more what I was talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. If you were if you were a cashier at Sea Town in 2018 at anywhere in these five boroughs, you got banged out. Yeah, it's what it is. I mean, so I'm done with those. You're not. You're not looking not, for a classy broad. Yeah, you're looking for actually. A class- no, I'm not looking for any broads. You're I'm looking celibate. For, you're looking for a broad like we said. We're lo- you're looking for a broad who leans a little right. Yeah, who comes from a family that leads a little right because it's just a little easier to be around. You can joke around a little bit more, which is yeah. wild to say that in 2020. It's just fun. And then somebody who giggles, you know, at Trump speeches in the right place. What up? Yeah. Yeah, that's all yeah. it is. Yeah. yeah. Somebody who's not too much of a problem. Yeah. Plain yeah. and simple. Yeah. It's just what it is, yes. you know? Some girl who who, who has who owes it, owns at least one giant or Yankee apparel situation. Absolutely. One yeah. girl who on Sunday who puts on a giant hat. He That's all you giant want. Hat. Yeah. And, you know, she, 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 I want just a girl who her ambition in life is she just wants to get her associate's degree and become a nurse. You, That's what I want. That's what you want. You just yeah. want a girl who would say, listen, Chrissy, I, I'm never going to cheat on you. That's not going to happen. I'm a loyal girl. I'm an Italian Sicilian girl. That's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. I'm from Syosset. That's not yeah. what we do. But if I had to choose one person, Derek Jeter, Derek Derek Jeter, I, 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 I can't. I can't. I, I just want a girl who's going to put grated cheese on everything. That's for me. it. That's, That's what it. it is. On my cereal, on my toast, on my pasta. Yeah. She's going to do whatever. You a little bath bowl of grated cheese. I just want a girl like that. You just want a girl like that who makes you go to church at least three times a year. Yeah. Who might? I want for the first time. I just want to bring home a girl that my mother likes. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. 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 Who? Yeah. You just want somebody from the island. Who happens to be either Irish or Italian, but either way, they gotta be Catholic. They gotta be Catholic. You can't yeah. bring in any fucking weird shishki Eastern Orthodox thing. Your mother's gonna think that's voodoo. Those are the ones I wanna bang. Yeah, but I know that. But that's the old Chrissy. That's the old Chrissy. If if we brought I'm your- going to sex anonymous meetings. <laughs> And it's not that's anonymous. No I saw some celebs in there. Yeah, there's crystal clear Chrissy going yeah, right there. A lot of people got a lot of problems. Yeah, there. yeah. But it's nice to know that you're not alone and that sex is an addiction. That's right. But it won't control me, and it doesn't. And I identify as a sex addict, but it does not control me. No, it does not control you. No. But it's also, I mean, my DMs. It's hard. Yeah, it's hard. That's why you Look gotta, at my DMs. Yeah, that's why you get it. Get off the internet. No, I am. That's why I'm gonna honestly, man. I'm just. I'm not. I'm celibate. 
You the just, 100th episode. And, but just understand that if you come over, if I invite you over, anybody, if I invite you over, bring a poncho because you may get glued up. <laughs> just because I'm jerking it a lot. Because <laughs> my dick doesn't know what's going on. It says, I thought we were eating every day now. Yeah. And now what's going on? You're watching War Docs. Yeah. And so it is, it is. And also, don't get alarmed if I ever invite somebody over. And, you know, because I love to watch history. If I go pewing during a Nazi doc, it has nothing to do with them. It's just my dick doesn't know what to do. Yeah. You well, it's going to go pewing right? at the wrong moment because yeah. it doesn't know what to do. Yeah. You're, you're, you're in. It, you're, my dick has autism right now. It, your dick, it, you're completely <laughs> right now. What do they call that? You're in withdrawal. You're having withdrawal symptoms. Yeah. You're having withdrawal symptoms. You, you, you may bang a guy. Yeah. Let's make a clip, please, of the moment where I said an oatmeal slips in the, in the uh, raisin slips in the oatmeal. Yeah. I'll put it to you this way. Yeah. Here's what I've been doing because it's the holiday season. Um, you know, my daughter has an advent calendar, so every day she opens up the little box on the advent calendar, she eats a chocolate. That's what I've been doing with my celibacy. Every day I don't bang a toot or do something I'm not supposed to do, I just have a little chocolate and I sit down <laughs> <laughs> for my advent calendar. Cause, so, and it's been great. Yeah. I, I mean, feel so powerful. I actually feel so powerful saying no. Yeah. It's you, wild. It's, that's what they, that's what I mean, because the girls are still going crazy. Yeah. And it's going to get like, worse. I'll come over, I'll do this, I'll do that, and I'll just say, I'm not in the right mental health space for you right now. I appreciate your concern. Please listen to History Hyenas. That's just what I've been messaging them. That's it's, it. People think Vanity is messaging them. Yeah. That's what the way to do it. A couple girls have said, Is this Vanity? Yeah. That's the way yeah, to do it. Just sign <laughs> B. Just yeah. sign B. Yeah. You, you just tell them you're no longer. Collecting cans. You've yeah. got a job now. <laughs> yeah. You're a tax Dead payer ass. now. Uh, yeah, I pay taxes. You're not collecting cans off the streets and putting them in machines. No. Chrissy Clan Collector's over. Yeah. I just said Chrissy Clan Collector. Yeah, I'm It was not a Freudian slip. Wait, 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 that, was, oh, that, was another, that was another nickname, Ku Klux Chrissy. <laughs> we got to kill him, too. Yeah, you got to give me that. Yeah. <laughs> So we're killing Can't Collect Chrissy, Chlamydia Chrissy, and Ku Klux Chrissy. Chrissy. Those are the three that yeah. got to be killed. But Chrissy, Chrissy, Steel Pipe Chrissy... Uh, Turnover New Leaf Chrissy's a good Turnover one. Turnover New Leaf Chrissy Still, Chaos is out of here too. Chrissy Chaos, we got to get rid of that guy. Yeah. Uh, Chrissy, w which Chrissy's do we like? We like Steel Pipe. We like Steel Pipe. We like Crystal Clear. Uh, uh, we like Truth Serum Chrissy. Truth Serum Truth Chrissy. Truth Serum yeah. Chrissy's a good one. What We're, about CWA Chrissy White Lies? Chrissy White Lies, we like. We like because he's funny. He's yeah. Funny. What was another one? Uh, a lot of General Sherman Chrissy. General Sherman, where you just burn a hole through the comedy community. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah. Well, well, spin the wheel. Well, no, spin the wheel. Chrissy is spin it. the wheels. Chrissy's I mean, good. But, you know, we need him. Yeah. But. Uh, that's what we not call sexually, not sexually spin the wheels anymore. Yeah, well, I've done that enough. Yeah, you do that enough, but you also spin the wheels with lies too. It's like somebody asks you a question, and your mind just goes, Brrr, and then yeah. if it lands on lie, it's what it is. It's what it is. It's what's the. It's whatever the most fun response is. Hey, apparently, that's what. <laughs> and he's not. Yeah, it's what it that's is. No cares. I saw him. <laughs> what can you do? And my fuck. <laughs> It was half full. Yeah. No, we're just kidding. <laughs> we're Let's all Asian. I, it's what it is. It's what it is. Yeah, we're just eight, we're a couple of Asian kids. Uh, it's character yeah. piece. And I think what what's happened recently is I think Vanity has had a couple friends that started listening to the podcast and told yeah. them they have a little couple concerns. And she's really trying to tighten the diversity rope up. No, yeah, I appreciate it. She yeah. wouldn't let us do Jackie Robinson with Jeff Dye. Yeah, she wouldn't. Yeah, because she's like, white guys can't be talking she about said, that. You can only talk about that with a mavri. Well, you said that too. Yeah, like, no, we both did. I know. Yeah. I'm just making contact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're just we're just joking around. Yeah, we're, we're just joking, joking around. Joking. Yeah. We're joking. Oh, I'm here um, for it. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> here for it. I well, brought Yaya's cookies. Yeah, that's my favorite drop. It's funny. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So we've made it 100 episodes. We've gone such a journey. patreoncom slash Boys. Let's be honest. We. We serve those guys Absolutely. and girls. Yes. We, we serve give them. them. Nobody, I'm telling you, and I'm not just saying this because I'm a part of this podcast. I've looked. Nobody gives as much content on Patreon as us. Not yeah. one. Mike, do yeah. even you agree on that? I agree. Yeah. We give by far the most Patreon content, so we appreciate um, you guys telling your fans and keep coming back every month because that's why we're doing it for you. Yeah, and eventually, like, look, we may just stop the podcast and only do it for Patreon members. So, I mean, that's a lie, yeah. but, you know. We could, but we, we could, could do that. We'll see, whatever. Yeah, because... because That's they, a threat. I'm just trying to threaten people threat. to get over to patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys. We may do listen, that. listen, guys, if you love this show, we're able to make this show and we do this show because of patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys. And we give you stuff for it, but we just want to thank you on our 100th episode for being our backbone. I mean, we got we're paying people now. We're up and running. We started with just with 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 Jim Serpico and um and, and, and Bardo Church. Church. And then we fired them. Yeah, because they didn't believe in us. <laughs> 
No, they're like, no, they're like, no. Well, you know, yeah, we could say that. They're not listening anymore. They're not listening anymore. So they, they, we, we didn't fire them, but yeah, no. you know, we Shut started with him crying. And we, we, yeah. oh, we appreciate, no. we appreciate you got, you know, the initial help. I mean, Barter would just sit here and fall asleep in the corner. Yeah, and <laughs> and you know, Jim was, you know, Jim had Jared Freed, so it's yeah. what it is. You and know? you know who you, else? That's how you met me. <laughs> that's how you met me. Yeah. Fell asleep in the corner. Oh yeah, that's oh, right. Yeah, he was sleeping on the first. Yeah, he would always sleep, and that wasn't because he was born to a divorce. I think his blood sugar was low. Yeah, he needed a Slurpee. We got. Too many people that pass out on the podcast. Me too. Well, me and, me and you and Mike. We, we, you know, it's just it's it, you, p- people should start taking bets when they listen to our podcast. Who's going down, me or Mike? Yeah, it's just mine's going to be more emotionally related. His is definitely going to be physically related. Yeah, it's just what it is. But uh, the, both of you are going down. We're both going down. Yeah, yeah. Like, he, how's he going to be my net laid down if he's down? I'll yeah, be down there already. You'll be down there. You'll already. be down there already. Yeah. yeah, nice little cushion to lay on. Mike's a good comic. Mike's a good comic. And Mike's going to be over. To pick up the pace, though. <laughs> As look as <laughs> we got Chris is, Chris is out to play today. Chris is here. Yeah, we got Chrissy. Truth, truth, serum, truth serum, Chrissy. Yeah, I mean right right now it's a manic pace of Chrissy's coming yeah, at well, you. I just feel I'm good. I'm friendly with my present. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, fuck boy. Yeah, I mean, he's got, yeah, Mikey's got it. Mikey's got it. He's a, he's a kid from Houston. He's got a Texas style. I mean, no, Houston, he's from San Antonio. Same shit. I don't give a fuck about your whole state <laughs> at all. When I go on the road, I don't remember. It. I don't care. I just want to get big in New York, like Bob Marley is in New England. Yeah, that's it. I'm just gonna become Maurice and just do shows in it fucking New York. Matter. It doesn't fucking matter. It doesn't that's matter. It. I'm able to make a, a, a decent living in New York because I'm able to invest properly because I just fucking paid attention a little bit. That's it. It's like yeah, I'm not getting a Bentley. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know who I don't know who I'm attacking, but so, it felt like somebody. Yeah, somebody. <laughs> so, like somebody. I felt like I was going to I I don't know. No. Friendly with my present. We, no. Uh <laughs> you know who's been here from the beginning? It was well, what I was getting to. First of all, we added Mike, we went to another level. Mike's Mike's good. And our goal, we're make no mistake. What is that noise? That's Outside. some I, it's, That's a Santa Con probably. Yeah, probably. The, our goal is to wrestle Mike away from Everything else, yeah, that's just what our goal. It's is. like, yeah, nobody treats nobody treats Mike with the respect he deserves, no, but us. Exactly. I mean, yeah, absolutely. Like, yeah. We, yeah, we, because well, we love him, we appreciate Mike, as and as. so we're prepared. We're prepared to uh, wrestle him away uh, from the other people uh, in 2020. Yeah, and if we have to do it physically, then we'll take you physically. Then we'll do it physically. Yeah, that's the I'll that's the good news physically. about the, the at least in New York City. In New York City, besides Luis Gomez and Gas Digital, who's a tyrant, <laughs> we can beat up every podcast, so we could just have free reign. Yeah. It's yeah. just what we're going to do. Which is what we're going to do. So then, And we added Venetia, and, and, and what a great addition to the team that was. Adding adding Word. the third woman yeah. besides me and you was, <laughs> was, the key that, was the key to success. It was the key when to we success. Because th- now it's just three women at yeah. the head of this thing. That's right. Yeah. This is Girls Gotta Eat. Yeah. 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 This is GGE. So once Venetia came in, <laughs> yeah. and it was great. Yeah. Yeah. It, once Venetia came in, the dead then, ass. Everything started to stay on track. The organization, the things that we lacked. I mean, we can't even get a secret Santa right. Right. And <laughs> and Venetia was able to say, "Here's what we're missing. Here's what we need," and has improved the podcast dramatically. Yeah. Woke. And she's and she's done great. And yeah. we're happy to have her. Yeah. So she's we're been doing and she's been doing fantastic. We're gonna have to ask you to start pumping out some more clips. <laughs> Dope. <laughs> So, yeah, yeah. Truth, truth Serum, Chrissy, yeah. is just here. Yeah. 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 And Zach. The, the, the- and that's what I want to say. Zach's been with us since day fucking one, and he hasn't missed any episodes. I wouldn't have even noticed. He only missed one was a birthday episode, and I don't even remember that. And Zach, the thing, the most impressive thing about Zach is we've done 100 episodes, and out of 100, 100 episodes, 100 times Zach has been sitting firmly in the hot seat yeah. and has made it through. <laughs> Every single time. I mean, the kid wins game seven every single time. He does. Time. He does. Because, I mean, every time we've been walking the stairs, we're like, he's out of here. <laughs> and then he just comes back and says, I'm sorry I didn't upload Lisbon. Whatever the fuck you're talking about. Yeah. No, the jihad, That's it's ironic that he's a Muslim kid because the jihad on, on Zach on Patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys is for real. Yeah. I mean, it, they, I feel like it's a hunting party. They're going to show up here with tiki torches for him. Yeah. They're going to demand his head at some yeah, point. Yeah, at some point. And we're going to give it to him if we get to 2,000 patrons. We're gonna get, that, that'll be our two, yeah. Our $2,000. <laughs> we just came up with our $2,000 uh, level prize for you yeah when we get to 2,000 patreons we will deliver zach for your do yeah. whatever you want with him i'll decapitate him live on the patreon that's what we'll i'll do. go on lens 
We'll do that for 2000 <laughs> <laughs> We are going to be adding a level, too. Patreon.com yeah. slash Bay Ridge Boys. Go get it. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, we are going to be adding a level. What yeah. is it again? Yeah, Venetia, you want to oh, tell them about the level about it yet? Mike, or can we talk about it yet? Or yeah, no? we should. We yeah. Got Go ahead, yeah. Mike. Tell the people. So, uh, what was the dollar amount? Uh, we're going 50. 50, we're going to start doing live streams. We're going to yes. be uh, one live stream episode a month yes. with the dollar members and up. Yes. And uh, it's going to be a 20 minute episode, correct? Yeah. Yes, yeah, 20 to 30. Can yeah. we also on. do, what about, because this? I know a lot of people do this on Patreon.com. Uh, like a lot of girls will do like nude cams. Can I start doing a nude cam on Patreon absolutely for a level? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. No, but not. it's legal. Absolutely not. Mike, am I, are we you, legally allowed make, to do that? You can take your yeah, off. but we're not going to do that, Chris. I just want to. You need to do like different things no. each time. Yeah. Like, I can't just open cam. up my asshole a little no. bit. No, no. no. For, a smart, <laughs> for a smart kid, you got some big blind spots. It's what it is. You got some blind spots. Yeah. We talked about it. You're really bright screwed in kid yeah and then you just got a huge blind spot maybe i'll just for a thousand dollars a month i'll shave my pubes up there no okay. yeah no, no. Okay. Yeah. for a thousand dollars a month yeah you should do that <laughs> yeah <laughs> no. let's see who would no. join i know i know some of our fucking freak fans would join no yeah no we cannot take our clothes <laughs> off at all but what mike is telling you is that the 50 dollars level will, it's a live we're gonna go live with you you it, always hold the mic like a ciggy i do it's funny yeah because you don't smoke, Mrs. No, Poppins. I do not smoke. And yeah, I got in trouble for that fucking cackle, by the way. I was Because it was the context. She kind of knew what Mrs. you were joking Poppins, about. I love your cookies. Please bake more. Yeah. And it, it's a, I, I have not had a ciggy. Yeah, you haven't had a ciggy. I haven't had a ciggy. But what he's talking about is we're going live. We're going to be going live with you. And it's going to be interactive. It's like a private moment with me and Chris where you can we, we, do, we talk to you personally. So right. once a month, we're adding that level. And of course, you get everything Below. This is really an episode to celebrate us and to celebrate our fans. Yeah, no, that's what it is. That's why R Rafael DeLuca is in here right now. Yeah. Um, now, Rafael, do you have a? Do you have? Yeah, you have a new um, song. Yeah, another, another non-hit. Come to come to the mic. Yeah, another, another non-hit. Another non-hit. Hopefully, gonna crack double digit views with it. So. Yeah, let's we'll oh. see. Okay. Well, you know, yeah, it's funny. Yeah, yeah, my mic just yeah, went out. Yeah, yeah, Rafael. And what's what's really good for out. audio is moving ch chairs. Hold on, the mics are out. The mics are. Uh, out. Mics are working. Uh, mine's not. I'm out. Oh, the mics are out. Yeah. This is okay. what he get, 800 pounds. A lot of the gorilla. mics are off. You're talking to this one. Oh, yeah. This one, is it back Check on? Check one, too. Yeah, it's back. Is it, who's back on? As soon as Rafael DeLuca moved in, it, it, we're good? We're good. Yeah. I fucked that up. It. No, it's, it's absolutely. Right. Uh, Rafael DeLuca has come to everything we've done. He came to our podcast, live podcast. He's come to, he came to my special tape. He comes to your shows. Big we just want to say thank you to Rafael DeLuca thank for being so our, like, <laughs> and, he, and he's not a strange kid. He's a normal kid. He's a normal kid. He's a that's normal why kid. We, that's why I said it was okay to come up. He's okay. Rafael yeah. Luke is welcome. He's been thoroughly vetted. We've been yeah. doing this for ten, two years. I don't feel I don't feel weird around Rafael De Luca. Yeah. He's a normal yeah. fucking kid. He's a normal. Chris, the teacher, stop DMing me. Well, yeah, yeah. Rafael's a good. He's a normal. I'm just kidding. I like Chris. Kid, the and he went too. to Harvard just like my mom did. Yeah, yeah, just like your mom got a chance to go to Columbia. Yeah. And that didn't happen either. She went to LaGuardia Community College. It's what it is. It's what it is. She, I may be even adopted. I don't know. I don't know, and we don't know because. Because we don't know what I'm going to take a bite out of Mike's ass like it's a poison <laughs> apple. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And we also said that we're going to start bringing in a wig, and we're just going to force Mike to wear wigs on random yeah. episodes. Oh, the thing is that. with yeah. Mike is I'm going to start showing up to events as my plus one with Mike in the wig. <laughs> and <laughs> Oh, man. free all our nerves. <laughs> and we're just going to say, this is my girlfriend, Mike. Yeah. And then just start looking at people. I'm going to wear so many pantsuits. Yeah. <laughs> this is what it is. And if you showed up to Verzi's Christmas party with Mike in a wig. It's my girlfriend, Mike. Yeah. And then I'm just going to feed her popcorn throughout the night. <laughs> I think we got to make that a clip. Yeah. 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 All right. Raphael went to Harvard. He can't figure out the mic. You know? no, yeah. yeah. And I'm a DJ. Yeah. yeah. It's a DJ. All right. So, so you got a new song. What's the new song? The, the new song is called Mashed Potatoes. Figured it's the most current Good theme, but again, like it's my pleasure to you know help you guys out and be a part of this. And you know, you give me so much entertainment. I remember I was originally on episode nine, which wow. was ninety one episodes ago. Holy April, shit! April two thousand eighteen. Yeah, I remember when you came. And I was listening to it on the way here, like you know, just reminiscing a little bit. And I, I think I said the same thing that I like. You know, I'm just happy to you know do the songs, whether they you know get popular or not, just because you provide us so much entertainment and like you know just you know helping out with a bad day or killing a you know. A yeah. board, you know, time or whatever. It's yeah. just, it's my pleasure, and you know, you guys are the best. So, thank yeah. you, Rafael. Rafael, absolutely. I will kiss you on the lips right now. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna get punched up to you. I'm a horny kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I'm a celibate kid. I'm filled with glue. Your dick doesn't know what's going on. Right yeah, now. it's like, do we? Because that was just a nice moment. We locked eyes, and my dick's like, are we going? Yeah. What's going on? It doesn't know. 
All right, but so listen, we, can we play the song? Yeah, I'd like to play Mashed Potatoes play mashed for the first potato. time. I haven't heard it. Can we yeah, play it, Mike? The song's good. I mean, it's... Do we have uh, the technology in this fucking studio? Yeah. With the, with the lawn equipment? Yeah, we got Truth Serum Christie's yeah, I mean, present. What the fuck yeah, is yeah. going on here? Yeah. You guys got a new studio, get a whole thing, and you come out with these fucking tables. Yeah, it's, I like these tables you got on fucking Wayfair. Yeah, I mean, what the fuck? <laughs> the fuck, dude? <laughs> I mean, you got fifteen million dollars downstairs. Yeah, at bought, least get them from fucking West yeah, Elm. Yeah, bought them at a fucking garage sale. Jesus fucking Christ! Yeah, let's listen. A couple of hours Funny a day. Already. You're a big butted kid who needs a bite. I don't give a fuck. You know, come to your house and smash your face in your mother's mashed potatoes. Yeah, yeah. Go, your face is going into the mashed potatoes. Do don't be a. F- <laughs> <laughs> what it is? Yeah. Mile 14. Just listen. If you don't, <laughs> everyone's face is going straight to the mashed potatoes. Yeah, yeah I'm going to order mashed potatoes for the whole audience, and I'm just going to start putting people's faces in if they don't laugh. <laughs> Everybody's going into mashed potatoes. Yeah. If you, listen to me, if you come to our live shows, or Mindy Giannis' live shows, and you order mashed potatoes, just send us a picture of it, and I'll, I'll come over and I'll put your face. <laughs> Send it to my face, and guess where your face is going to go? In mashed, mashed potatoes. potatoes. Mashed potatoes. If you put Mike's face in mashed potatoes, he's just going to start eating it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just go back to the Nazis. Back to, uh, back to I love that going back to the Nazis is a safer space. Yeah. <laughs> we go wild right now. I'm on. Because we go wild every episode. Yeah. That's what we do. Yeah. And this is what it is. is. Don't cackle it because it's true. I love that. 10 wow. Out of 10. Yeah. 10 out of 10. I just Mashed got potatoes. one question. Yeah. yeah. Are we getting too comfortable with the F word? Yeah, I, I was a little uh, skeptical, but yeah, Venetia just said character piece. Yeah, should we cackle? She just not that cackle, cackle but other than that, I'd say when we cackle those words now, though, we just put over the cackle, we just put rainbow flags. That's what we do. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, yeah, it's I perfect. Mean, it's just look. It, there's a there's a big blowback on that word. We can't because say because pe- no, but there's a big blowback on people wanting to keep that word because that word is such a good word. Can't say it, and though. it doesn't even mean that anymore. It doesn't mean that. Like it does. It just doesn't mean that. Vinity is indifferent about it. You know? Yeah. Uh, th- people not, are not dope. People are not going to give up that word. Can we yeah. conjugate it and call it? Alive because, yeah. okay, because we, we made a t-shirt on the last episode. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you have to cancel that order, Mike. Oh, Vinity yeah. said no. But, I mean, we're we two kids. We should who, love it. We're two kids who <laughs> love gay. I, can't, I don't even think the gay guys I'm friends with or the girl, gay guys I'm friends with. The are, truth is. They're not even. I'm not going to tell you. I cannot look you in the eye. Cackle right all now. this. I can't look you in the eye right now and you tell guys, you that I'm not gay. <laughs> yeah. So how can you tell me I can't say the word when I'm it, whatever fucking day of the week it is? I just sometimes I'm real gay, sometimes I'm not. Yeah. What's going on now? Uh, just a quick picture. I'm going to head out. Okay. Uh, I'll see you. Yeah. I don't want to bomb you. Take your shirt off. <laughs> Are you ripped or no? We just we're pausing in the middle of an episode. To yeah, but it's just what it is. The Luca. The Luca. That is coming in, baby. High Potatoes, great song. Yeah, awesome. thank you. Thank that one's going to get a few views. Good to see you, brother. We love Rafael De Luca. We love Shout all out our Rafael fans. De Luca. Yeah, go check his DJ workout. What's what at Rafael De Luca? At Rafael De Luca, and then at History Hyenas Music. At History Hyenas Music, and at Rafael De Luca. Thank you, brother. Absolutely. Ha- Merry Christmas. Happy holidays, Rafa- brother. Happy holidays, brother. The thing about Raphael, Raphael's a Great successful kid. kid with his own life, and he just does this for fun because he loves us so much. All our fans are real good kids. There's a lot of good kids. We got Tim the Toot, who's still around. Yeah. He's a good kid. And, of course, we got the matriarchy, the head of the matriarchy, who came to both shows in New York City. She fucking flew here. Lisa Johnson. Lisa Johnson, who's going to be your wife now that you're off the toots. It's what it is. Yeah. Should we call Lisa now? Is, is now the time? Let's call Lisa. Let's give Lisa Johnson a call just to check in. And Lisa, is, is Lisa ready, did you say, Vanatia? Okay, and guys, give Lisa yeah. heads up. Once we get the uh, uh, okay that Lisa's ready to be spoken to, we're going to speak to her. And you guys are the best fans. Your names that uh, of the, you know that we read every week. They're so funny. I listened to an episode the other night just for giggles. I, I rarely listen to our stuff, but I listened to an, uh, an episode, and it was just so funny. The names are so funny. I thought you listened to all the episodes. I'm doing a character piece. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. It's character piece. Yeah. 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 I'm doing a character piece. I want Tortellini. Yeah. Totally. Do you sauce. want to read some um, throwbacks? Excuse my voice. I'm at the point. Yeah, where I like your voice like that. Yeah, <laughs> and I don't. I'm at the point where I don't no. know what's real Venetia or what's robot Venetia. Well, now yeah, real Venetia has got a little scratchy voice, but we gave her halls. We gave her yep. halls. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't see that could have been either one. Oh, that I'm looking. Robot Venetia. Yes, it's bad. Yeah. A little more t- yeah, bit easier to yeah. control too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Raspy voice Venetia is a nightmare. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> the PPW of the week from last, this is last week? Throwback. Throw, these are throwbacks. I love it. So 
And last week's, by the way, was hysterical. Um, what a crew. Were you conscious? I was conscious. Yeah. I was half in, half out. Yeah. yeah. Like my sexuality. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so here's some throwbacks just to tickle your balls a little bit. Ladies and ladies also. Adam, spin my wheel, punch my bag, and smell my fumes. Yeah. Yeah. Ten. Now, you want another one from last week that was, I think, my favorite of all time? Because it's kind of like, it's it, it's my favorite, but it's not, it's unique. And it hits you like, like it's like a curveball. You don't see it coming? Yeah. Was, uh, uh, what does he say? I'm, a, I'm an illegal immigrant, so my, my piece is, a little, my glue gun's a little different. That guy, do you remember that guy? No. Can you look up that name? Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm butchering it, but it, it it when I heard it on last episode, it cracked it me up ten. endlessly. So I mean, that's a good one. I mean, yeah. that's a fucking good one. Let's see some more. So that's some more. So Adam, spin my Adam, spin my wheel, punch my bag, and smell my fumes is a Hall of Famer. Hall of Famer. But you know what's interesting is he is absolutely a Hall of Famer, one thousand percent Hall of Famer. But since time has went on, yeah. we've gotten what well, like that wouldn't even make. That wouldn't make the, that would make like the final five now you're, because you're, of how crazy they've gotten, and that's a Hall of Famer. You're a good point. He, that he's kind of like um, he would be like uh, what's his name on the Celtics? He's like Bob Cousy. Bob Cousy, he was like playing in an era before they integrated. Yeah, you respect him, but yeah, yeah. but now we got a lot of black kids. <laughs> <laughs> that's no uh, it, Was it Louis non non fruit loop discolored piece half Greek pipsqueak? No, that's a good one too. Good but one. no, it, it was literally like uh, I'm an I'm an illegal alien or I'm a white walker, so my piece is a little so my so my so my glue gun's a little different. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so you just gotta find that. But it's here. Your phone keeps turning off, Pedia. Yeah. yeah, it just keeps turning Dope. off. Yeah, yeah. Okay. The next one, of course, is this guy was, is a Hall of Famer. Just he was the first one there. You make a good point, right? Because now they've gotten real good. Like last yeah. week's list was like, holy shit, are these guys taking steroids now? Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're on the juice. Yeah, because this guy's stone cold FF Steve Austin. Yeah, ten, ten. Yeah, that's a classic. Yeah, is he still around? Probably. Okay. Then this guy is. He might be the king of all time. He is Chris. Uvula is a backboard. Chris's uvula is a backboard. My dick is Tim Duncan. Yeah, 10. 10. He might be number one. Yeah, yeah. yeah see, that's something that, that that's timeless. That's like Will Chamberlain. Yeah, that's like Will it's Ch- just timeless. It's time. He'll, he can work in any era. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now this guy was Marcus half Reekin, American captain of the fume room Rutherford. Yeah, fume room <laughs> is funny. Yeah, he's a good one. Then we oh this guy's this guy's this guy's another curveball. Yeah. And he may be he may be the best. Jimmy Pets Pizzola got dolphins half price cuz. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. funny. Matt, I'm an illegal immigrant, so my glue gun is a little, is a little different. Yeah, Matt, yeah. I'm an illegal immigrant, so my glue gun's a little Did different. Did he even win PPW? No, he didn't. No, Why? Because yeah, but he's a he's a good one. Yeah, because I heard he's him. like Jennifer Hudson. He lost American Idol, but he's the biggest. But he's a big celeb. Perfect fucking analogy. Yeah, that's Jennifer Hudson. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Here's another. I want to sing like Jennifer Hudson. Yeah, you can't. I want to be a fat black woman. Yeah, I know you do. Is she's well, she's skinny mini now, but yeah, she, she's never big, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, here's another one. I gotta get in shape. Krista Legal Toot takes it in Krista Legal Toot takes it past the Uvula Marie. Yeah. That's an old school classic. That's an old school one. And she's also at the show. She sat with Lisa Marie Johnson. She's also at the she was front row at the Gramercy Theater. Remember when they all yes. were front row at the stand yes. and the Gramercy. She's a big fan. Big fan. So thank you so much, uh Krista Uvula Marie uh, Uvula Marie. Take it Uvula Foundation. Marie. Then we got Johnny's dad says I'm half a Fanook cook. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess Johnny's dad called him a half a Fanook at some point. Which is, a Fanook is a funny word. Maybe Fanook. we could start saying Fanook. Can we say Fanook? No, Infinity is just on the side of wokeness. Do you want to explain what these names are again? Those right. are the PPWs of the week. So, guys. The pseudo-penises you know, of the week. Right. Now, why do we call them pseudo-penises? Because we are the history hyenas. Hyenas, they are a matriarchal society, and uh, they the women have penises. They're yeah. pseudo-penises. They're not real, but they are penises Should, nonetheless. Have we, have we ever told our little babies how we even came up with the idea to start this because i feel like we've been interviewed on other podcasts about how it is but we've never we've never talked about it to our to our little little hyena babies about how this all came to be why don't you tell them chris okay so um it yeah i moved to bay ridge with um with the situation in my baby um and uh in 2015 she just looked like you were having a flashback just look like you. Yeah, just I'm just had, going back to the nom days. Yeah, you just went back to the days where you know you were inside the situation. Yeah, I was inside the situation, and it was wild. In now there. you can see the situation from the outside. Yeah, now I can see. So, 
And then Giannis had already been living there, and we had kept saying we're going to hang out, we're going to hang out, but we never did. Why did you keep showing up in the neighborhoods I was living in? You've showed up close to where I'm living in. Yeah. I was living in Park Slope. I'm from Park Slope. Yeah, I was. Next thing you know, you were around the corner from me. I genuinely lived around the corner. Around the corner. And that was when we were first kind of knew each other. Yeah. And, uh, well, we met before, but that's when we first started hanging out. And then we did uh, the bracket together. We took the train every day together. Yeah, yeah. It's almost like you've been setting up your life to be next to me. Next to you, yeah. yeah. When we did that bracket show, they said, who else? Because I got it first. And they're like, who do you want to call us with? And I said, Giannis. You and said, they said, is it the fat Mexican kid <laughs> who does Marisa? I yeah, said, yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, one time we were on the train, and the bracket was a, a local show in New York City. Um, I was sitting on the train at some construction work. He goes, yeah, Yo, you that kid from the bracket? And I said, yeah. He goes, and you, you hosted with that fat Mexican kid, right? Yeah. And he was talking about Giannis. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I was a fat kid back then. Yeah, and I, they and I did Mexican. And for a kid from New York who's in a union and he hears Giannis Pappas, he just assumes it's Mexican. He's a Mexican kid. He just he just knows that he's not. That's not what he wants in his neighborhood. That's just not with what a name like that. He's not familiar with that. He's not comfortable with and that. that. And it was the first time when we did the bracket. Was the first time that you. Um, saw my love of sweets because I we would go take lunch breaks and I would just instead of getting actual food I would get three or four black and whites. Yeah. I get black and white cookies from the deli right next door to the studio right across the street from Madison Square Garden. It's also the time that we learned that MSG pays people too little. They don't pay anything. I mean and the for, heads of the networks are scum. Scumbag. It's just what it is, but we don't work for you guys anymore. Yeah, so we can say whatever we want because we're protected by the power of fucking patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys. Yeah. We're protected by the great laws of Jeff Cohen, our lawyer. That's what we're protected by. Yeah, who yeah, who was also Chunk from the Goonies, and he's both of our lawyers now. now he's both of and our he's lawyers. a real badass motherfucker, and he always sends me a wine basket for every holiday anniversary or any deal I sign. I know what you're doing, Jeff. You're just pressing a button. Yeah, but I do appreciate it. He's also a nice. And it's guy. gonna be somebody's secret Santa gift. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be That's so funny cast. if you regifted his gift. It's just what I do. I'm Chrissy regifts. Yeah, I don't have time. Yeah, we don't got time. Oh, CRG, Chrissy yeah. regift. And as Schultz says, time is more important than anything. Yeah, Schultz is. Yeah. Schultz screwed me in. Yeah, he screwed you in. So anyone that's taken up my time is getting fired. Yeah, you're getting fired. Merry Christmas. Yeah, so we want to appreciate Zach because Zach's been here day one. He's a big part of the podcast. He also makes great music. You got to check him out. You know what I was thinking we'd do? Next live show we do, he should be doing his music as they're seated. So yes. the party is started as yeah. they come in. Yeah. And that gives Jan, Jan, the, yeah, Jan, have, Jan have, the Squeak. Jan the Squeak can fucking run yeah, around. Yeah, have have. <laughs> Absolutely, have have pansexual Jan go in there and just run around and do and do its music, whatever he's it likes Jan to do, squeak. whatever it likes to do. You, and then when then when it's time over, you throw some water on it. Whatever I don't know how you stop those things. You th- you just throw yeah, just whatever throw you do, me. you throw some water. You just Wei song yeah, yeah yeah. I don't know I don't know when well, you gotta wet it. I don't fucking know. Yeah you gotta get, whatever it just runs around. No, don't put, pull water on it. That's a gremlins. They turn evil if you pull oh, yeah, water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever yeah you oh, they I'm, multiply. Yeah but what ha- what's the rules of squeaks? What do you do with a squeak? Yeah I don't know. Yeah. Don't pick them up unless they're asked. There you go. Yeah. Don't, Don't pick him up. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, have you ever thought about putting him in a backpack on your back and letting him rhyme there? Yeah. <laughs> that would be a great idea. That'd that be a great idea. Or, yeah. yeah. Or a baby Bjorn so you can rap at the same time. <laughs> I like yeah. That one. Yeah. You got to get him one of those things, those John Sale, Sally like yeah. sport, you know, the, the band that goes around the glasses, the whole, because the kid's got no nose. Yeah, it's just what it is. He's got no nose. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to fucking tie him up like a pinata and hit him with a whiff of taped up wiffle ball bat and see what comes out testosterone or estrogen. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to take him through one of your songs and just throw him into the audience and hope that they catch him. Yeah, like Brad, so I'd, like to, I'd like to throw him up like a beach ball and have them just punch him around. Yeah, just there. punch him around like it's, it's a seventh inning of the Yankee game. Yeah, no, we July. love we love, no, we love Jan. And Absolutely, he's a sweet Jan. fucking kid, Jan. Yeah. And Jan, you're welcome back yeah. whenever. And you and you and our boy Zach make great music. Absolutely, their yeah. tunes are good. Yeah, but Zach's a horrible marketer. It's what it is. You go to his page. I don't know what he looks like. I don't know what he does. I don't know what he's talking about. Yeah, he needs yeah. to get Venetia in his life. Yeah, Venetia needs to come in his life. And yeah, Venetia is keeping Zach around because she's having an affair with him. That we we <laughs> figured that out at the last meeting that she's fucking having an affair with Zach. It's what it is, but that yeah. But Zach's got a girlfriend who's a piece. Yeah, Zach has a girlfriend. We brought to the piece. show. Yeah, he did. Zach, yeah. Zach's great. The fans love Zach. We love Zach. We're yeah. happy to have him around for a hundred episodes, two years. We made it. Has it been two years? Actually, two calendar Almost years? Almost two years, wow. man. Wow. I think it'll be two years in February. Yeah, you guys started yeah. Um, January twenty. Yeah, Venetia was eighteen when we started. Yeah, Venetia was eighteen. <laughs> She's yeah. also a fucking squeak of an age. She's in her twenties. Twenty six. Twenty seven. Twenty seven is a good age. Twenty seven, they said, is a is a is a is a is a good age for a person. That's been the age of my previous three girlfriends. I raised them up till thirty. Every thirtieth birthday, I still got the thirtieth birthday decorations in the closet. I'll pull them out for you. You're my wife now. It's. Yeah. You may have to cackle that. No, That's leave it in, okay. you pussy. <laughs> it's the hundredth episode. 
<laughs> Why would did you guys start this again? You were getting there, and then oh, okay. So the, yeah, we yeah, start. We yeah, we we're we're, we're we're Chrissy and Yanni sidetracks. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, okay. but you turn it over to New Leaf. Yeah, we turn it over to New you Leaf sit up because you're just squeaking out of the camera. I look present. Like Jan. Yeah. I'm friendly with my present. <laughs> Cause should we get Jan and put him on a shelf like we used to have high heat of the trash monkey? <laughs> yeah, let's, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. He's our little elf on a shelf. Oh, yeah, I just want him in here. Yeah, the juke in the corners make me want pastrami. <laughs> <laughs> Wei Song Xie. Yeah, this is the 100th episode. We're just going to fuck a while. Good kid, unhappy. He's here now, too. Yeah. Just make no mistake. He's getting groomed to take one of your two jobs. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know which That's one. We don't know. But we can't save you. We're not privy to that information, but we don't know what he's doing here. He's lurking over one of you guys. He's lurking over one of you guys, yeah. But we're not going to let it happen. No, we're not going to let happen. We're going to protect you guys at all costs. Because let's be honest, you guys don't really work for 800 pound gorilla or riot cast. You work for the hyenas. You work for us. Yeah. Yeah. And we're going to figure I'm out. I'm my merch. There's probably a like a hundred thousand dollars in that fucking account that we need to access. Yeah, and I, I guess I'm kind of yeah. realizing now that like we put a lot of merch of our faces in bloody hyenas, and girls don't want to buy that. No, they don't want to buy that. Yeah, and they also don't want to buy t-shirts with pictures of my feet on it. No, they don't want that. <laughs> yeah, they, they also, so we just made some dumb merch ideas. We did, but we're we're, we're getting screwed in. We're getting screwed in now. Cuties and smoothies is up on on historyhyenas.com. I bought one. Yeah, I, so I did I. One of and I bought a ladder time. fourteen yeah. sweatshirt. Ladder yeah. fourteen sweatshirts up there. I bought one as well. Yeah, let's say that, guys. Our merch is up. Merry Christmas. You're going to be getting this around Christmas, so it's too late to get it as a gift, but get yourself a gift. Yeah. Right? History. Are we going to leave a promo code up or something? Uh, we can make one. The, let's do the yeah. promo code Schultz. Let's do promo code Schultz. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> HistoryHyenas.com. Yeah. Yeah, we'll put, and it's yeah. a limited time offer that we're doing it. We're stealing that idea from Schultz, too. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> after, from the day after Christmas to the new year, uh, we'll have promo code we'll have Schultz. We'll have a promo code. And I'll see what the discount will be. Okay, so promo code Schultz. Go to HistoryHyenas.com for all your merch options. Yeah, yes. Go to the Teespring. And the latter 14 shirts designed by fucking Comedy Photoshop yeah. are money. Yeah. Money. Fine, he's good, and he does good flyers. What's his so. name again? Brian, Brian Stefanik. Go follow good comedy kid. Photoshop. Yeah. The kid crushes it. The kid's good. Yeah. And yeah. And um is did Lisa text back? Okay, we're gonna call right. let's call Lisa Johnson. Yeah. I'm gonna get a little peeling right now because not only is this is this my uh matriarch wife, but I'm just loaded with glue. Yeah, you're loaded with glue. So yeah, you can't be you can't be act you can't be expected to be responsible for your actions during this time yeah. period of transition. It's just what it is. Yeah. yeah. We haven't farted yeah. on the episode. You know, Spenity has been here. Hello? You know you're backed up when you're jerking off to That's Vampirina. Right. Hey, <laughs> can you hear us? Hello? Oh, my God. Hey! <laughs> Look. Who, who's jerking off? Who's I've jerking been jerking off because I'm celibate now, babe. I just want to let you know I'm celibate and I'm friendly with my present and it feels powerful. Yeah, Eckhart Tolle. <laughs> yeah. Well, good for you. Thank you so good much. Chris is Chris is off toots and he's turning over a new leaf. Yeah, Mr. Johnson. Yeah, and I almost beat the shit out of Giannis in the gym today. Yeah, he, <laughs> he gave me a talking to. Yeah. I mean, I kind of believe you, but let's be honest. I mean, you're Chrissy White Lie, so I, I don't know. She, I, I am CWL. Lisa Johnson. Not only is she one of our most important fans, if not our most important fan, I think I'd put her as queen of the matriarchy. She ain't no. She is queen she of the matriarchy. That's why she's the only one getting a call. She also knows us really well, mm -hmm. and she's also somebody else who, it, like, much like Rafael Deluca. She's like she's 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 a, she's normal. You know, normal girl. She's there's nothing fucking off about her. Lisa, let me ask you: When did you start listening to the podcast? Um, I would say it was about fall of like last year, but I actually signed up for Patreon like in December. So it's like coming up on a year since you guys like announced my name. So it's kind of crazy that you're calling. Wow, me. So you're wow, your anniversary, the queen of the matriarchy. How did you hear about us initially? Yeah. Did you did you hear about us from another podcast? Yeah, so I um, was listening to, it's really a funny story. So I was listening to uh, Flagrant 2, and the yeah. first thing, like, I pressed play, and you got, you said something about, like, being Any white one of our black fans white. we got from Flagrant 2, like, let's just be honest. <laughs> let's, I'm sorry to cut it's you off, but let's, let's, just, let's just be crystal clear. Any black fan that listens to this podcast, you're just from Flagrant 2. It's what it is. I just, right, I'm tired of it, not saying that publicly. It's S-Locast. It's, it's, it's S-Locast, but we're yeah. happy you guys are here. Yeah, it was. Hey, I'm happy to be here. It was so funny because you guys said something about like, "Yeah, it's great to be white," and I was like, "What the fuck?" I was like, "What is this?" <laughs> and so like, I like started listening again. And I just started cracking up when you started hitting on Akash. And so, um, like, I I like history, and so I just started playing you guys. And I was working for a job that I just absolutely hated, so it just made it easier to kind of run through all the episodes. But um, but yeah, it was that's pretty much how it started. But yeah, so wow. I guess thank you, Andrew Schultz. 
Yeah. Yes. No. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. We're, we thank you for everything. And Kaz and Akash. And we, yeah. Thank you. And thank you. You're such an involved, fun fan. You make Patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys promoted marketing. Yeah. Such a good place. Hashtag marketing. Hashtag yes. marketing. Those are going to start tuned because we're fucking screwed. Yeah, we're in. starting the marketing. And yeah. I mean, yeah, no, the next show that we do, yeah. the next show that we do in New York City at the Gramercy Theater, if if Lisa's available, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get her a trip to New York City. Yeah, what we're gonna do. Yeah, Chris, and it's on the company car. I mean, Chris oh. is fucking wild. It's flights from Atlanta. I didn't say how we're gonna get there. We're gonna get you a Greyhound ticket <laughs> from Atlanta, and we're gonna get you front row seats. Yeah, and no. I give you a free T-shirt. Listen, babe. Yeah. Listen, babe. I need it. We'll do the train. I don't need the bus. We'll do train. All right, fine, babe. Yeah. Got you. We'll do that. We'll, we'll definitely get her up here. No, we got to get her she, up here because she deserves it. She came to both shows. Yeah, both shows. And she flew up here. She's our fa- I would. I would put, her, I'm saying Hall of Fame. I'm going, right now there's only two people in the Hall of Fame. I think it's Rafael DeLuca and Lisa Johnson. Absolutely. There's a lot of all-stars. Yeah. There's a lot of first-team players. Yeah. But we're, if we're starting our Hall of Fame two years in, I think we're going Lisa Johnson and Rafael DeLuca, and the rest of you got to work a little harder. It's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 And it's a very <laughs> smart marketing Move to put a black woman in the Hall of Fame first because diversity. Yes, people love yes. it. Yeah, yeah, people love it. Yeah, but she yeah. fucking Lisa Johnson is probably our funniest. No, she, she made definitely is that yeah. video. Yeah, and we got some funny kids on patreoncom slash Boys. But that video is legendary. Did we ever post that for other people to see on Patreon? Because I know she posted. I don't- we yeah, didn't post. I don't think you guys did, but I also made another video for the live show because I was a hyena for Halloween. So I don't know if you guys were really wow. that I got No, we saw and that. I posted a picture with Tickle Me Elmo. Yeah. Hilarious. That, yeah. Which Paul Gassy said whoever the person is sending him a text that say Tickle My Elmo, he's gonna he's get, starting to get really mad. Yeah. So whoever that guy is, he's gotta stop. <laughs> yeah, because no, it's a random number. <laughs> <laughs> I remember I remember that. I remember that uh that, that was in your that was a story that we reposted. That yeah, was it was hilarious. In my story. But yeah. wait, so you I was ma- gonna upload it to YouTube, but I was gonna do something for Christmas too. So oh, okay. please do, yes. Please do. But did you make an you made another episode from the live you made a video from the live episode? No, so, like, it was, like, promoting that I was going to be at the live show, and, like, it was cackling, like, it was talking like I was, like, a, like, like, cackle. Yeah. And it had it in the caption, so, yeah. I what? mean, I can upload it, and I'll post it to YouTube and send V the link, but, yeah, that's, I did that for Halloween. You know, you know somebody's a, a fan of this show and has been around for a long time if they're just referring to her as V. <laughs> Where I mean, yeah. yeah, I mean, it's what it is. If a fan is, if a fan's on a on a basis where they just call Venetti a V, it's like she's like a friend of the show. I won't talk to that many fans. I read everybody's messages. I appreciate the love, but there's a couple that I'll talk to. Hi, hello. There's V talk saying hello hey, to you. Hey, yeah. And I just want to say, like, she said she's you guys are gonna call between four thirty and five thirty, and so when when the Greek. <laughs> Dictator says to call me to call yeah. LJ. You better fucking listen. That's you right. Know about just random shit. Like you listen to her because let's be yeah. honest. If it wasn't for V, we wouldn't still have Patreon. Let's just, be, the, let's just call it spade spade. God's honest. Call it what it is. Yeah, and she has a raspy voice from yelling at us about Secret Santa. Yeah. So we did a Secret Santa. We did it all wrong, Lisa Johnson. We did it all wrong, but we're going to reveal That's the gifts funny. on the Patreon soon. So when you hear this episode, we'll know who got each other what. And I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> whoever whoever mine is got a really good gift. Yeah, they got a really good gift. Because it's just a re-gift. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Truth series. I thought she was going to say like some blue chew or oregano pills. Uh, one of uh, those, right? Yeah, no, the blue, Patty Fly Balls has all the blue chews. Yeah. <laughs> she has all the blue chews. There's just certain episodes <laughs> where... Chrissy decides it's going to be a truth serum episode. This is the hundredth episode. It, the truth serum, Chrissy is dominating. Absolutely, I took some pervitin again, and I'm ready to fly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Lisa Johnson. That's listen, awesome. we That's love awesome. you. We just wanted to say thank you so much on the hundredth episode. It's a celebration in here, and you're a huge part of it. Well, thank you. Thank you for the call. I appreciate it. Happy to be here. Congratulations, you guys are doing a great job. Keep up the good work. Everyone's having a good time. Of course, not a long time. That's, That's right. Wow. Thank you so much. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas, Lisa. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Bye. I love you. Bye. She's the best. She's the best. She's it's, number one. Yeah, it's she sets she sets the example of what a hyena fan. Yeah, what we're she's all great. about. What all about? I mean, you know, she goes with it. She's she's interactive. Yeah, she creates content that the other fans um, 
can see it and, and yeah. have fun with. They, uh, the, she's they, a leader. Lisa's she's a, a leader. leader. She's a leader. Yeah. And they met up. They actually, and that's what I love about you know to, to twenty twenty is like. The fans meet each other. It's a community, you know? They came up to the show. They hung out. They made friends with each other. They talk on the community board. That's what it's about, man. We're a scene, and yeah. we love that we're, you know, we want you guys to make friends with each other and hang out yeah. or whatever. Like, that's what it's about, man. Yeah. Right? So, right, Yeah, and I, I think throughout the course of this podcast, I probably moved in and out of my baby's mama's house about six times. <laughs> so I, I, I would come in every quarter with just a new life. I, half of this podcast was spent with my life being in garbage bags. Yeah, that was the beginning. We, yeah. We've really come a long way. <laughs> We're all the way at this point now where the, 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 the situation is really not even a situation it's anymore. It's great. Yeah. Now we got a new situation, and it's Dead great. Ass. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's not even a situation. And, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm leaving Bay Ridge. You're leaving Bay Ridge, which is sad. But I'm keeping my apartment there to be close to you. Keeping the apartment there to be close to you, yeah. and 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 we're gonna we're gonna make it a studio, and it's gonna be good. We're gonna we're gonna figure it out. But I'm I, I can't leave Bay Ridge altogether. You can't leave it altogether. I'm a New York City kid, and I'm a little scared of the woods. Yeah, I'm gonna what I'm gonna do. What I'm gonna do is. When Yanni finally leaves, I'm going to have to go through some morning time, whatever. But then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trap an owl, and I'm going to put some glasses on it and a sticker that said, I voted for Bernie, and just call it Giannis. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just what it's going to be. I mean, the kid looks like an owl. Yeah, yeah, okay. it's, yeah. yeah it's what it is. And I'm just going to call it your little Yanni the owl. Yeah. Now, Mike, are you going to Texas for Christmas? No, I'm here the whole time. Wow. Yeah. What are you doing? I don't know. I think you're going you're to come by my house. You want to go to Chrissy's family's house? <laughs> <laughs> Who do you wanna, what do you want to do? You want to come by Aunt Janet's? Yeah, I'll go buy Aunt Janet's. Yeah, go to Aunt Janet's. some cigarettes. Yeah. Mike's my plus one at Paul Versey's Christmas party. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> that should be a good plus one. Yeah. I think Paul Please. I think Paul would be okay with that. Yeah, I just worked with Paul in San Antonio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm bringing Mike or Venetia. Yeah. I had to take him. Uh, we took him to uh, fine wine rest restaurants every night. Yeah, the kid's every in, night. The, he's he's in grape juice now. He's in no, yeah, fine wine. I get, yeah. Yeah, that's an exclusive list up there at Paul, Paul Versey. No, Paul's a great guy. Get an invite to the Paul Versey compound. It's, I mean, and the cooking Mrs. Versey does is, I, I can't explain to you how good the food is it's unbelievable it's, it, it's actually like it's maybe the best like home cooked food i've ever had in my yeah. life let's get paul, let's book paul verzi yeah for, oh yeah. yeah he said he was gonna come on oh yeah oh paul, yeah mean, he, we, we had him on a call in but let's get yeah. him in the studio let's get him I mean, in he's, he's, he's excited to come on yeah yeah we're gonna paul's a great kid yeah and as you know we're going twice a week we hope you appreciate trying to hook that. my daughter up with paul's son that's what you want to do well just that kid's a looker he's got the right look yeah that <laughs> for what i want my daughter to bring home <laughs> He's a good looking guy. Yeah, he's just got a good look. Yeah. <laughs> it's just the kind of look, yeah. Yeah. That you see at and higher like, levels of ownerships and things like that. It's yeah, just, just if you get hit my the drift, fucking button, it's Zach. just the kind of look. Yeah. You know, it's just, yeah. It's Wei 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 I'll say it like his name. He's got the kind of look where his name's on the car dealership. He's not fixing them. Yeah. You know, it's Wei something Wei like Wei that. He's got a nice look. He owns a team he doesn't play for it kind of look. Character piece. It's character piece. It's character, character, character piece. piece. That's my friend Patty Bo Rudy. Yeah, not his kidding. fault. He, he he got rid of most of his cable, but he did keep Fox News. Yeah, it's just he's got one channel. Yeah, it's just he's, yeah, he's got a nice yeah yeah, <laughs> but a nice look and he's and a good also kid. for your daughter. He's from Washington. I mean, he grew up there. He grew up so there. So she's yeah. definitely going to get him. That's it. She going. She that's a top level for her. <laughs> Are we, should, are we supposed to be yeah, that no, name? Cackle, you can't cackle the baby's name. name. Cackle the baby name. Cackle Wait, the baby name. Yeah. back. That's it. But she is Puerto Rican and she's looking to go to Westchester. She's so looking to go to Westchester. And let's make no mistake, it's been your lifelong dream as Giannis to get up to Westchester. Yes. Because you are the true Marisa. The true Marisa. I, I've said this from day one. What you see, the biggest character piece that you've ever seen in the, in the history of the world is Giannis Pappas. I mean, the guy has been playing a character for 44 years. Yes. You've seen glimpses of the real him, and that's Marisa Tassit Rodriguez. That's right. Should we do Secret Santa? Well, let's do the... the Oh, the the Patreon way. names? Okay. And then get the bag. So we'll get yeah. the bag. I'll get the bag. What do we got? Oh, and the sponsors. Yeah. Yeah. All right. But Give me the sponsors. I don't know. Oh, okay. So do you want me to do the sponsors in my head? Yeah. Do you do Patreon.com first? Yeah. Do the Patreon.com. Do, so do, do, do the names first? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. These are the newest members of the, of the matriarchy that went to Patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys. Yeah? No good? Well, we're going to do this and then the sponsors. Okay. Okay. So the new names, the new people that got in. And this is just random. You guys just happened to uh, get your name called out on the 100th episode. So congrats. Thank you so much for uh, joining the Patreon. You're late to the game. Okay. 
First name, Kyle Howells. Straight to the back. He's here for the content. Yeah. Then we got all one word. Nice piece toot that cracked open and cleaned out Ann Eileen's with a ciggy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Ted. Yeah, yeah. It's a Ted. Okay. That's a. We, we haven't yeah. been doing Eileen in a long time. Eileen. Yeah. Well, yeah, she, Chris. She, yeah, very she, proud I, of you. you but you're disturbed. You're disturbed if you said that, Chrissy. You're disturbed, and I told you you're thinking what you. He's thinking with his dick. <laughs> he's thinking with his dick. He thinks with his dick. Be honest, do you want some intimates? Would you like an intimate cake? Yeah. My my daughter had a friend do the kitchen here. <laughs> yeah. Do um, we need to cackle all that? No, we can keep it. Yeah. Next up, we got Hamid the Sand Monkey with fumes ready to go. Boom, Alu Akbar Muzzy Life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. He called himself a sand monkey. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Then yeah. we got Tarika Shelby. Tarika Shelby. Tarika Shelby's here for the content, but she's a strong black woman. She's a strong, strong black woman. Okay, then we got X Toot, Chris, play with my skin flute. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Holy shit. Those, Ten. Are, those are three contenders. Then we got EM. Then we got Pete Wanders. Here for the content. Jay Leah Travis. I'm here for the content. That's Hi. another black girl. Yeah. Then we got Matt the Screwed in New Haven Potato Monkey. No fumes. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Holy shit. That's four. Okay. Then I got AJ. I have a situation with the mother because I cracked open her sister. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's five. Shane, I break ass cheeks, not hard flit and genie. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. For Christmas, they're coming strong. Then we got Elizabeth Walker. White here for Walker. the content. Then I got Julia Beat Jen Bagakis in the spelling bee, Debilis. That's a goodie. Ted. Wait, uh, is that my water? Yeah. Shout out Smith Town water. water. Then we got Ham, swing state voter within the walls of Ohio, Trump 2020, Smith Town water. That's a goodie. Yeah. But that, it's on the fence. You know, that's a Clyde Drexler. Then we got Harriet Tuckman, the bun humping potato monkey. That's a goodie. goodie. But I'm going to go Clyde Drexler. Then we got Zach Culp. I'm here for the content. Then we got Kyle, the massive baloney in Macedonian. That's a goodie. <laughs> goodie. He's, he's, he's in the contention. Then last but not least, we got Yanni P has a half clean bean. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. obviously the winner. You yeah. think that's yeah, the winner? That's, wow, the, yeah. the last yeah. one ended it. Yeah. So the winner of the PPW of the 100th episode is Yanni, Yanni P has a half clean bean. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, it is absolutely fucking insane how funny you guys have gotten. Yeah. It's really, it's getting to the point where it's hard to it's hard to really pick. They're hard to t yeah. I mean, the, the the fans are funnier than us. I mean, these so guys, I mean, you guys give us life. Yeah, I mean, thank you guys so much. And yeah. again, please tell your friends about history hyenas. Go leave a review. You, it's very important that you go over to iTunes and rate us and review us and leave a review. Yeah. So we keep moving up the queue, man. We've we, we're starting to move quick, and once there's a tipping point, we're we're, not, we're yeah not, we're not even gonna pretend we're not we're gonna act like we don't even know you anymore. We're, know you anymore. And speaking of speaking of the tipping point and moving quick, our hundred dollars sponsors who are just gonna they're gonna get going soon. They're gonna get kicked to the curb any day now. CBD script. Wait, so what's this? What's the situation? Bullshit. With that? Whatever. Let me just do it. CBD yeah. script. CBD script. dot com or org. Whatever the fuck. Uh, <laughs> get your at you know CBD. Go get it. Google CBD script. Uh, no T, it's just S-C-R-I-P, 9th Street Auto Collision, which is in Long Island, nowhere near 9th Street. Uh, <laughs> he's a guy, I think he's paying a little bit more, but he's going to get kicked to the curb, too. It's going to be, <laughs> Look at you better start going, paying no, big no. money at some point. <laughs> yeah. 9th Street Auto Collision, go get your car cracked open and cleaned out. Smith, it lives, is, where is it, Smithtown, where is it? Huntington Station. Huntington Station, Long Island, which is a really nice place. 631-531-5300. Something we like might that. Be, we might be playing uh, the Paramount Theater in Huntington Station very soon. Um, so go to 9th Street Auto Collision. Then we got Sandra Azizi, who's a doctor who wants to do comedy. I mean, it's just a fucking free-for-all now with entertainment. So he's doing, I think he's a GI doctor. We're so supposed go. to have, let's have him on for the history of ass What is San SandraAzizi.com? What is so, it? So, Dr. Souls, but can we contact Dr. him? Dr. Souls that? on Instagram. That's Dr. Souls on Instagram. I'm, I'm sure you can see, you know, recent colonoscopies and also his five minutes. Um, <laughs> you know, okay. <laughs> yeah, Giannis is dead. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he got, and then uh, fucking, what's it? The Lakeside Maple, stick it up your ass. Uh, the kid, go to Lakeside Maple on Instagram. He's a big fan. He gave us, he gave Giannis a t-shirt with his name on. It. He gave me nothing. I'm gonna stick your fucking, I'm gonna stick your granola up my ass and shit it out for a thousand dollars on the webcam Patreon. <laughs> 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 yeah, so we got Lakeside that. Maple is delicious, though. I love it. It is good. Um, and then who Promo code what? Wild? Uh, 
Lakesidemaple.com promo, promo code, code wild. wild. Then we got or uh, hyenas fifteen. I yeah. can't remember what switch. That's CBD script. Then we right. got Dr. Harvey Spencer Oswald. We got his uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dr. Harvey Spencer Jr. Dr. Harvey Spencer Jr. A healthy happy smile. Healthy happy smile. Go Rock Hill, South Carolina. Rock Hill, South Carolina. But now I think he's also got a mixtape or some shit some, coming out. Yeah. So it's just like I don't know. The physicians that listen to us, they also are doing other things. So go take your chances. Whatever you need to do. <laughs> um, and then uh, who's the other one we got? Uh, um, Matt Cock. Yeah. Matt, Matt Cock. Oh, Matt Cock. Go to Matt Cock. Uh, nutrition Made Fun. Um, or is it Nutrition Made Simple? Nutrition Made no, Fun. Nutrition Made Fun nutrition on the Gram. Nutrition Made Fun on the Gram. He's got a lot of promo codes. He's always talking about salads and chewing slow and whatever the fuck. <laughs> um, so he's, I think he's from Seattle or some shit like that. So Nutrition Made Fun. Matt Cock or Matt Coach. It's a K-O-C-H. Matt Cock. Matt Cock. Go listen to his stuff. Um, and uh, go go on Instagram him. He's, he's a big supporter, so we appreciate it. And also, our $500 sponsors. Did we do CBD script? We did. I did that one first. Yeah. Uh, at Tank Sinatra. Let's just say this about Tank Sinatra. He was just on Ellen. He was just on the Ellen DeGeneres show. Just on Ellen. Tank's good news was just on the Ellen DeGeneres show. Tank is a Tank is a fucking huge supporter of our show. Just want to say thank you, Tank. Tank. He he takes pictures in the merch. He's got himself a fucking shirt. He came to see you, Tank Sinatra. We love you. We love and you. More importantly, we love your money. We love your money. Your sister's a piece. <laughs> um. And, and he, uh, he's a fucking kid from he's, the island. Yeah, he's, he's a fucking kid, and he's the one that coined Smithtown Water. Yeah, Smithtown um, and then, Water. And then other five. And also, shout out Reading Water Department. Water Department. Uh, James Altucher, who emailed us, who said we're going to be on his podcast, and he said he doesn't care. He just wants to give us his money because he's made millions of dollars on Bitcoin. Yeah. So go to his comedy club, Stand Up New York. Uh, we asked him what we want to say. He also does comedy. Doesn't he, he does comedy. I mean, who doesn't, guy? <laughs> so it's just, you know. It's, it's actually just, really it's true. It's just whatever you want to do. Who I, mean, does, I think yeah. Dan Soder's ex-girlfriend's doing comedy. I mean, everybody Everyone's does it now. It does, there's no rules anymore. Everybody yeah. does it. I mean, you just fucking, yeah, you just go up there and just speak to the mic. It doesn't matter. Even this kid's doing comedy now. Um, and he was funny on a Graham, but even he's doing stuff. Michael Rampaport. Michael, it's a stand-up isn't even a thing it's anymore. It's just a thing. I it's mean, just like a fucking you whatever. You don't have to have talent. You just go up there, do yeah. it. Who cares? Yeah, just do your skit. Matter. Sell the tickets, get the money. Yeah. The people pay. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so that that's pretty much in a nutshell the sponsors, and we really appreciate you guys' service. We do. We love each and every one of you, but I think there are some changes coming. Yeah. It's just what it is. I feel it coming. <laughs> yeah. Yes, look it's yes. just what it is. And look, we hope you enjoyed the run with us for the two years. And we really thank you because you guys did get us off the ground. But the truth is, this is a capitalist society. Yeah. And we're just too big now. We got bigger. Yeah. So we, we we did give every you're a part of the show. Everyone knows who you are. Yeah. And and, and Venity is gonna give you an option to stay with us. Yeah. But other than that, you're getting caught. What it is, once we get to 200 Gs on Patreon, which are coming soon, when you guys start DMing me, you're just going to start getting replies that say cease and desist from my lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not talking to anybody. I'm going to become a monster when we get to 200K. Yeah, it's just what it is. Yeah. But again, this is a celebration of our Patreon members. You guys make our show. That is the era that we in, that we in, yo. Yeah. And <laughs> I just fixed that. With, hey, I'm just talking like that. You've been... Like forgetting letters and words. I know, because I, I, I have Early Alzheimer's. Onset. I have you're Alzheimer's. Yanni, you're Yanni Sundown. I'm Yanni Sundown. Let's get to Secret Santa. I want to give our gifts out. Yeah, we said we're going to okay. do it on the potty. But yeah. thank you. And uh, and tell your friends about History Hyenas. And also, if you have not joined Patreon.com slash Bay Ridge, boys, go ask a Patreon member how much they're loving okay. it. Okay. Because you're missing a ton of good content, content, including our latest Ladder 14 video that we put up there, and also some other good content. And now okay. it's Secret Santa. Now it's Secret Santa time. What you're hearing is the ruffling through my Dunkin' Donuts bag that I put my gift in. Wait, so this goes to Okay, me. so what are we doing? That's going... No, that, that's for Zach. That goes to Zach. That's the Secret Santa. Go to Zach. Are we opening them on the pod? Yeah. yeah. This is for me? Yeah. Wow. I love how nobody wrapped them. Everyone just got them in bags. <laughs> <laughs> what do we do? Do we... Re no, don't, no, don't do anything. Oh, yet. sorry. You know Venetia's is going to be wrapped. Of course. Yeah. So vent. Yeah, we know. Yeah. This is mine. I can see the fucking gift <laughs> through the bag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I Vin think Zach the only one who. I think it. Zach is walking away out of here a uh, fucking winner. Yeah. We know whoever. <laughs> we know whoever I think Zach's gift is going to be a lot winner. better than the rest. Yeah. Of us. And we know whoever whoever Mike's gift was. Whoever Mike got, whoever Secret Santa Mike's was. Your gift's going to have barbecue sauce on it. <laughs> <laughs> Either that or, or slurpy, slurpy syrup. Slurpy. Turkey with a slurpy. All right, so what do we okay, do now, so Venetia? You got really nice hands. Yeah, and I want fucking <laughs> Yaya's cookies. I, I 
I didn't bring. I'm sorry, guys. Um, but so okay. I brought Yaya's cookies. <laughs> Secret Santa <laughs> is we all I get gifts. We didn't do this properly. The guys didn't know, but we all get gifts and we put it in the uh, the side and then we try to see our, what our gifts are. We are going to open them and we're going to guess who we think got us the gift. Got it. And right. Then yeah, I mean you okay. still keep the gift. Well, mine is a, wrong. Mine is a stone cold have... guess because I don't know who got me. Yeah, this. yeah. So okay. uh, yeah, so start so opening pu- your pulling gift. out. I got a fart. Can we do it in front of Vinatier? Yeah. No. Okay, I got a German dictionary. <laughs> <laughs> I think Vanatia is my secret Santa. <laughs> wow, that's a goodie. Is that you? Oh, you can't say yet. Wait, are we? I think we're gonna guess Let's first. Guess like, the there's oh. more. Oh, there's, there's more. Like, okay, there's guess. more in there. So, no, you guys are okay. My go. Well. Okay, yeah. my go. We'll go one at a time. So, Chris, wait. What else did you get? Yeah. What else you get? And I also got rainbow flag socks <laughs> <laughs> and a German dictionary. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's a goodie. That's, this is great. Yeah, that's a real. Goodie. I've been wanting to learn German. Okay. Now, am I opening mine? Oh. Yeah, let's do the boys first. Okay, boys first. Okay, boys first. Chris is already learning his German words. (laughs) Shaft. Look, Mike's getting his thing out, so I think it's from Mike, because I think he's giving it away that he's filming me. No. Are you filming me? I'm I'm doing it for everybody. Oh, okay. I'm sorry to fuck up your video. Okay, what's this? What's that t-shirt? This is my Santa's secret gift. Secret Santa. Secret Santa. He's what holding kind of sh- up a T-shirt right now. He's trying to figure out what fuck this is. This got a bullseye on it. Yeah, hold on. This doesn't look good. <laughs> this is reading his German dictionary. Wait, let's see, it's got a bullseye on it. <laughs> it looks like merch. Is this Zach's merch? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Zach's yeah. merch. So now I know You've who got, got me an that exclusive piece of Zach's that's, merch. That's okay. It's a Fruit of the Looms shirt. <laughs> And it's gonna shrink in the wash, but I'm gonna wear it once or twice in its original size. Yeah. Thank you, Zach. Oh okay, so now I know who got me mine. I guess right. Okay. That was you have always been a big supporter of my rapping yeah. stuff, so I wanted to make sure you got one of those. Thank you, Zach. And I am a big supporter. I think you're really good, man. So thank you. I'm gonna wear that with pride. Mike, what, what the you fuck get? is it though, Zach? Wait, Mike is opening up his with something like because up his thing wrapped in a ho ho. Mike's got oh, things in a wrapped. Santa hat. Yours is actually wrapped. Yeah, is that, is that, yeah, a little bit. What else did Mike get? And I got a white castle dessert butter cake. <laughs> yeah, it's what it is. Yeah. We're a couple beef cakes and you're a butter cake on a stick. <laughs> yeah, but that's only one of the gifts. Who got you that? Uh, oh, wait, what wait, else you get there? Texas Roadhouse card for. Some kind of value because something about value is written on it. Texas Roadhead card. You could probably take that uh, and uh, you, for, have a holiday family dinner with your family, and there's probably enough money on there to just do one because your family's you because you kicked your ex wife to the curb. Yeah, that's how that works. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, now, Zach, I actually got a really cool. Oh, and you, got a ho- and you got a ho ho hat. Yeah. Which you got to wear now. Yeah. For, for, yeah, let's put it on. For whoever's, whoever got you that is telling you that. Yeah, I'm going to guess it's you. Yeah, you got me. You got me. I am Mike's oh, secret Santa. Backwards? What is it? Yeah, it was backwards. Yeah. Now, what he got was he got a White Castle butter cake no, that's on a stick. No, the front, the ho, ho, ho. Yeah. He got... This is the head part. He got a $25 gift certificate to really? Texas Roadhouse. Really? And Mike got... Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and he got a Christmas hat. I think like there we go. Ho, ho, ho. Yeah, yeah that looks like good. This? Yeah, I just want Mike and hats and wigs. Yeah. It looks good whenever you put something on his head. I look better he in does. hats. Yeah, he does. And wigs. There we go. So Zach, right. what did you get? And then what I got Zach something get? really good. Chris got me a, a portable <laughs> smart projector. It's what it is. I, I got that for you. <laughs> it's like a three hundred dollar gift, which is pretty, which is kind of a step up from all the other. Yeah, I'm glad I got it. Chris. It's smart to say thank you to Comedy Central. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a regift. It's what it is. I opened it up in the mail today, and I forgot there was Secret Santa. So ha- Merry Christmas, yeah. <laughs> Happy Kwanzaa. Happy Quads and happy Chunica as well to the guy in the corner. Yeah, happy, happy Hanukkah. Yeah. Okay, this is hilarious. Do we know what his name is yet? He's been here four hours. Adam. 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 Andrew. <laughs> oh, Andrew. I got um, a wow. bunch of screws. That's hilarious. <laughs> or, and I also got a pack of cigarettes. That's hilarious. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> I want one. Yeah. yeah. You need a ciggy. This is amazing. And I think it was Mike who got yeah. Mike, him. <laughs> wow. I yeah. think his is the funniest because she yeah. screwed in. He got her a bunch of screwdrivers. Yeah. yeah. I, love I thought it. we were supposed to go for funny. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's perfect. No, I mean, mine is hilarious. Yeah. yeah. No, it's it's actually hilarious. Yeah, I think they're all pretty funny. Yeah, I got socks. So Venetia was that yours? Software. Yeah, I got him this. Venetia getting you the great. German dictionary and rainbow colored flag socks is hilarious. Yeah, yeah this is hilarious. Yeah. That'd be great. Because you put on the website, you're like, you suggested randomly socks. And I was like, okay, perfect. And I saw Oh, I did? Yeah. Did you see that? I oh, yeah. 
We did Secret Santa yesterday. Yeah. We all got names and we did it. This was successful. Good this job, was guys. We really always funny. do it one day ahead of time. Yeah. That yeah. Was, that's what <laughs> our tradition. That, that made it funner. That yeah. was fun. We'll just wrap my. Yeah, I actually wrapped it. yours, but then everybody came in plastic bags, so I put it in a plastic bag <laughs> to throw it off. I love that he got you a pack of ciggies <laughs> because that's the reason why your voice is raspy. No, it's you not. You smoked a lot of ciggies. No, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> you know what else we're doing? You know what? We, we was that the right brand? <laughs> no, hers is a Greek brand. Not no. that I've ever had one. Not that I smoke cigarettes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah nobody smokes Yeah, but yeah. <laughs> so w- 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 our, our request we're making of our fans in 2020 is we want you guys to make marketing videos for us. We want you to do something funny and tell, tell someone to listen to the History Hyenas, however it may be, and then just, just say marketing at the end. That's, yeah. And we'll pick your funny videos and we'll repost them. For example, like when me and Mark, when me and I called you Mark, oh, I am oh. yeah, I'm losing my mind. When me and Chris uh, prank called Fry Boots, <laughs> and we just at the end we told her, hey, we just want you to listen to History Hyenas. So and remember for the fans who've been around a long time, when we went into Rite Aid, and um, yeah, we there was a kid we behind the s- counter, and, and Chris tried to get him to listen to History Hyenas. And he I said, said we were two dope queens. He said we were. He said it's better than two dope queens and all that <laughs> shit. He's like, we do all types of shit like that. So if you so, order, if you're ordering from the drive-through, you know, do it there. Exactly. Be respectful. Be legal. Be nice. Yeah. Just yell marketing. Yeah. Just funny. It tells you know. Make, Sammy Mason did a good one. Sammy Mason did a good one. Just make a history hyenas marketing video, um, where you're where you're where you're spreading the word about history hyenas. However you want to do it, get creative. Please stay safe. We won't consider anything that's not fucking safe, that's not legal, and that's not good-hearted. So do that. Make it funny. We're going to pick the ones we like, and we're going to post them on our account, and that's how we're going to uh, tackle our grassroots marketing is through you guys because that's how it's been going so far. You guys have been telling your friends. So now we're taking it to the next level. Since you guys are so funny, we want you to continue being funny and being creative, and we want to see it because it's entertaining us. And we're going to post them. So send those videos over to V. If you're Lisa Johnson, you can call her V. Everybody else, it's Queen Venetia. <laughs> it's what it is. All right. Thank you guys so much. The 100th episode. Bravo, guys. Historyhyenas.com, ChristyComedy.com, GiannisPapasComedy.com. What is it? What's your website, Mikey? I don't have a website, but on Instagram at, at Mike V. Suarez. At Mike V. Suarez. And it's Z the Dropout on Instagram. Yeah. And come see me and Mike at Gotham um, and also at Uncle Vinny's. Get your tickets, GiannisPappasComedy.com. Yes, sir. All right. Y'all, yeah. I'll be in uh, in January, Atlantic City, uh, Denver in the beginning of January, and Hamden, Connecticut. Mike will be with me on, on Connecticut and Atlantic City. Oh, sweet. Yeah. All right. 100th episode. Whee! Let's go eat. <laughs> I have no STDs. How long?